When you're ready to make the memes for your quizzes, which will add a great deal of fun and interest to the quizzes that you give to your students, you should log into your quizzes account and on the left side of the screen locate the button for memes. Click on it and if you already have some meme sets they'll show like in my account or if you are just getting started or want to make a new one you'll click on the big purple plus sign to create a new meme. You'll give your meme set a name and um, I'll just call mine practice meme but I'm sure you'll come up with better names. Keep it public and click done. Now that you're in the editing uh, arena, you're going to click on create a correct meme. Later on, you'll move to the other tab and create incorrect memes. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. Now, the only option with a free quizzes account is to upload your own image. If you have a subscription base, then you can um, use the images that they have. So I'm going to go ahead and I've collected some images ahead of time, which I would recommend you do. Make sure that they're images that you've taken, perhaps around your classroom or of yourself, or that you've used Google Search and the tools that allow you to find the copyright-friendly images that are reusable by anyone. So I'm going to go ahead and upload an image. They're in my pictures, and I am going to pick this fish, open it, and now I have a square shape for my memes, so I'm going to just get the head of this fish and go ahead and upload it and then I am going to put some uh, text on here so this is they got it right you are swimming click down here to a great score and then I can give it a name fish in case I ever want to search for it to add it to another set save it and you'll see that it looks better once it's out of the editing screen. I can see the image and I can see the text. So I would go ahead and create nine more of those for this uh, course and then uh, go to incorrect memes where the process is exactly the same. You just need to remember that these are for when students give a wrong answer. So again you click the plus sign, upload an image. I'm going to grab um, maybe these balloons, open them up, they fit in there quite nicely, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like that, upload them, and then I'm going to say you, um, whoops, I'm going to say pop a balloon, and click down here, that is not correct. And then I'll just give it a name, balloons, and save it. And there it is. Once you are done with your meme set, or if you need to get out of it for a while and come back to finish editing it later, you just click Done. And then if you did need to edit again, you just rest your mouse on it, and you can see that you can select Edit.